Today I'm going to show you how to remove the circlip out of your cylinder head. It's funny because I've been working on this new, on, on my new project which is my engine. I've never done that and I got to learn so much and I'm so glad I, I, I learned this. I was able to learn this and I can share with you. So we are going to remove this here and I try to search circle or clip and the name is circlip and right because this is a circle and this is a clip um, so you see uh, how an easy way to remove this out of your cylinder head uh, you need to remove it if it's installed already because um, if you gotta remove your uh, connecting rods and I'm actually pointing that way because I have them right there mainly I have the uh, rings here which we are going to file the rings on next videos but for this one short one make it short sweet removing this crap out of your cylinder head check it out so we don't need it need any fancy tools um, usually I'm using this set of screwdrivers here um, so you get the smallest one you can so in my case is this one and you see you have here you have this little part where you need to have a tool and small enough to get in there and in my case this one is small enough but it's a little bigger than that so I'm gonna put this one here and what we do now is um, you put those that in a screwdriver in my case I'm using this here but I could use the screwdriver actually I'm going to and what we are going to do is this here set this in the hole right let me see if you can see that and then you twist once you twist you see that it's moving see so what we need to do is we need this part here to get out of the groove so we prop up a tiny bit and see how it goes Oop, there you go um, so this is out um, now you can either properly your screwdriver or just sometimes just using your finger works uh, and that's it so so later when I get all my pistons I'm going to put uh, the assembly assembly assembling lube in here before putting that back in there but basically that's it so now I'm going, I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger here push it tight and this was black full of carbon deposit so if you uh, are following my videos you see that uh, this is clean already so I already did that job um, let's go back in there yeah it doesn't want to get out so I'm going to try the other side so let's remove that that you don't want this to fly in your eye um, you need to be careful because yesterday I was making a video and I got I, I poke myself there you go, there you go. See, it flew across the, the room <laughs> it could be my eye so it's good to use um, proper um, glasses and all that stuff because you know if this goes in my eye right now I wouldn't have time to do anything so that would be bad bad all the way I just put a little bit of assembly lube um, you see that this lube is like a it's like sticky gluey but you know it lubricates very well and I push it gets out it comes out a little bit I'm gonna put some inside so because this is not coming off what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get this socket here put in there and I'm not gonna hammer or anything I'm gonna just push with my hands right so that's not possible like this done 
there you go so now you take your your socket out of there of course you see the socket has some play in there so I don't want to damage anything and you push the rest of it out of there um, and here is the same so I can also do that put in here and finish pushing with this it's just to give me some leverage and you don't want to destroy this because um, this needs to run freely and um, yeah so just to give me some more leverage I'm gonna put here my legs there you go and of course I mean my office so it doesn't go to the floor this looks pretty good pretty smooth and the clips are also out what I like to do is I put my finger here and see if it's not rough if it's rough I get like a 1500 grit, 2000 grit and 3000 grit just send a little bit and spray air to be sure that this all goes out um, and this before going in there I'm gonna put a, a good amount of lube in there uh, assembly lube and before putting back in because it would be a little uh, tricky but this video was only to show how to remove the circlip and how this is called because I used to call C clip or C clip or just clip and it was kind of hard to find and uh, it's basically circlip all right so this was a quick video just to show you how to remove this circlip um, I tried to research this as a clip cylinder head clip and it, I couldn't find so circlip is a circle clip basically that's it uh, people take blood out of their hands and this find their face so this is kind of hell to remove you saw that this is easy it's kind of tricky if the opening in the cylinder is right the opposite side of the circlip so if you have this thing here like this and the opening is here right I hope you have um, a good angle uh, it's focused so if you prop this out in here this will be pretty hard to reach and get out of the cylinder this one is pretty easy both of them um, second one you saw it flew all the way across the room so be careful with that wear glasses uh, I was putting my hands there to protect but you know you never know so cool I hope you enjoyed check out my uh, website www.cardmodsgarage.com and also subscribe to my YouTube I'll see you in the next video.